Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Clash of Kings mod Let's Play for Mountain Blade Warband. I apologize for the lack of uh, Warband content last week. I've had my hands full with uh, school stuff as usual, so uh, sorry about that, but we're trying to get back on track this weekend, and we'll see how we do. Um, today we're going after Harrenhal, the biggest and most ridiculous castle in all of Westeros, and uh, we're bringing our entire kingdom with us, so we shouldn't have any problem taking this, but I think it is still going to be an interesting battle, because this is just such a massive monstrous castle um anyways uh that's the main goal for today if we have time we'll maybe look at pink maiden as well i'm still not sure if i want to take maiden pool or not um it is closer so maybe we'll take a peek at the garrison and decide but uh for now let's just uh, head south and get this going let's see who's that lyle Craycall. oh okay yeah um sure blah 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 Alright, so 139, that shouldn't be too troublesome. I believe um, Sir Gregor Clegane was um, guarding this, but we obviously defeated him out in the field. Oh look, there's uh, Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, well, let's go ahead and attack. Alright, so are we doing uh, ladders or towers? Ladders, cool. That is uh, very welcome news. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. How are we looking here? Full health. I think I'm going to run with Rook. I feel like Rook would want to see this castle for himself. So... Um, yeah, we're not going to leave this one to Garrett Longley or anybody else. We're going to let Rook do it. And uh, I'll just have to be extra careful, but let's go ahead and lead our soldiers in and assault. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, set the archers up right here so that they can cover us as we approach. And I'm just going to charge. There's our uh, son and heir. Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. We're not going to be able to get to them right away. They're on a higher level, so they're going to be shooting us basically the entire time. Um, I'm going to try to get up there, but I don't know how much luck we're going to have. Oh, there's our brother. Come on, man, don't stop. Got to keep moving. Ah, oh, crap, they can shoot straight down at us. That's not good. Um, yeah, push through. We'll try to stand. Oh, crap. At least it wasn't far enough to do fall damage. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently there's a clipping plane there. And our archers aren't really doing much. I guess nobody's really doing much. Come on, men, push. Uh, looks like Rylan got some kills. He's still fighting as well. Hopefully he continues to fight. Um, I haven't seen him go down yet, but maybe he went down earlier and I just didn't see it. I definitely saw him getting kills, though. And it looks like things are finally starting to turn around. I think we've got ourselves a foothold. Here we go. Damn it. Hold still. This sword is not ideal for sieges. Um, it hits pretty hard, but unfortunately it's so long that it often gets blocked just by other people standing in the area. And this map is annoying. Very annoying. This is not designed for um, people to be moving around on, especially the AI, clearly. Alright, um, let's see. I got some throwing axes. Let's just kind of put them in that general direction. Let's see if we can just harass these guys a bit. I uh, getting shot. Come on, damn it. Uh, archers, get over here and cover us. I'm going to move this way. Oh, I didn't mean to bring the lance. And let's see. They're coming through the courtyard. I assume they're going to attack us here. So let's get some men there ready to fight. Pikes, why don't you guys set up right there? Hold them inside. Don't go any further than that. Infantry, hold back. Cavalry, hold right here. Yeah, that way we're safe from the archers, or at least the people in here are. We don't want to be fighting in the middle of that staircase. Can I jump through there? Let's see. 
Did the archers make it? It looks like they did. Um, why don't you guys move up to slightly higher ground, like right here? Actually, I could put them up there. Did they really not kill this guy? Give me a break. Making the king do everything. I could send the archers up here, even. It's just this is clearly not um, nav meshed very well. Alright, you're done. Um, archers, yeah, come up here. That's a good spot for you. Hopefully they can figure out how to get there. Actually, it looks like most of them are out of ammo anyways. Um, right, we're going to hold our ground, I think. Alright, so um, I think we're going to get ready to charge here in just a second. In fact, I think I'll tell everybody to start doing that. And by the time they fight their way through this wave of enemies, uh, we should be pushing toward the enemy archers. Yeah, I told you guys to fight inside, so that didn't happen. Oh, I just fell. Alright, we're moving forward. I guess I'll go with them. I need to be careful that I don't get shot. That would be a hell of a way for the king to go. Um, let's see. I don't think I can grab that shield. Can I grab one of these? That'll help. Give me my good shield. There we go. Alright. Um, let's try to dispatch these guys as quickly as we can because we are in very dangerous territory out here. Gotcha. Um, we're losing a lot of men here. I might end up by myself. Crap. I'm getting shot like crazy. Should not have approached them on this side. I should have let my men screen me again. Gotcha. Okay. Just keep hacking your way through. If we can get rid of all the uh, melee infantry, then we can get after the archers. Come on, guys. Shouldn't take that many of you. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There we go. Every time I swing, I eat like two longbow arrows. But we're moving, and it looks like it's mostly archers left. Oh, we got a couple of melee troops here. Um, they should go down pretty quickly. Come on, guys. There we go. Um, I'll deal with these guys. You guys go after the others. Oh, what the hell happened there? Come on, somebody get him. There we go. Ooh. I stumbled and fell. I thought I was uh, down there. Alright, I think this is uh, about it. I think we just need to clear out the rest of these archers, which, I mean, considering we have a bunch of melee troops, shouldn't be too difficult. And once we, you know, get up in their faces, they will start fighting us in melee combat and be a lot less dangerous. There we go. That jump swing didn't kill him like I'd hoped. Uh, but that's fine. We're basically done with them anyways. And there's our victory. Uh, that was not an easy one. I mean, we didn't lose that many men in comparison. My army didn't lose anybody. Um, our allies probably lost quite a few. Yeah, 63. Uh, the enemy lost twice that. And considering how many we deployed, that's really not a lot. So, cool. Oh, Loris Tyrell. Well, you're welcome, I guess. Your helmet doesn't match your armor. Um, Lester Morgan, where are you from? Stormlands? Cool. Rescued some prisoners. We'll go ahead and take them. Uh, Raven Tree Archer. This is not um, us. This is this is Raven Tree Hall Archers, um, as in like the the ah crap I forgot their name. I'll remember it in a second. Blackwood, Titus Blackwood. There it is. Uh, you know what? We don't need peasants. No, not even for the garrison. We'll take these guys captive though. And let's see. Can I afford a few upgrades? Give me some veterans there. Uh, I want Riverlands longbows here. And we're going to, of course, defer appointment on this one. I have no idea who I want to give this to. Um, I had talked about maybe trading it to Robert Raventree, letting him hold it, and giving... Um, well, let's just defer it for now. We'll get the free garrison. 
Not going to plunder it. So I talked about maybe giving it to our brother Robert Raventree, who's currently the regent of... Uh, blanking on words, the Dreadfort, in the stead of any Boltons. However, there is a loyal Bolton in our party by the name of Domeric Bolton, who, uh, I don't know if betrayed is the right word, but he took the right side, unlike his uh, father and brother. So we may consider rewarding him with some territory. Um, and what better than his ancestral homeland? Or his ancestral castle or whatever. The issue with that being that my lords are generally reluctant to swap fiefs with me, so I don't know how successful we'll be there, but we can certainly try. Now, there's a bunch of um, Westerlands lords running around, including Prince Taro Demidis, who is probably like from Kohor or something. He's got a couple, actually, he's from Lorath. I think we may have met him before. Well, let's see if we can't pick a fight. That's, it's sad that I run them down, even with an army of, like, nearly 400 men. Oh, you are, um, honorable, and we have not met you. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, there's people around. We're going to have to just defeat you, then. So let's see, we're deploying 3,500 against their 231. Um, the other lord in that area joined him, which was why we couldn't talk to him individually. But I wouldn't have mind sniping him from that faction and maybe giving him some land in the Sisterlands or something, or even in Lorath. Anyways, let's, uh, let's lead our troops into battle. Now we're going to see how aggressive they plan on being, because this is a nice little place to set up some archers if they are going to press us. It looks like they are, or at least they're considering it. So, archers, why don't you guys set up on the top of that? Infantry, we'll put you at the base here. Pikes just in front of that. And, yeah, you guys are going to back off, as you always do. Cavalry, let's put you up front. And I may just, like, charge with the cavalry and leave everybody else up, everybody, bleh, everybody else back um, in, like, a defensive posture just in case, but we're deploying quite a bit of cavalry, as you can see here, so uh, let's see uh, pikemen, why don't you back up just a little, because there's only a handful of you infantry shift a little bit and let's see can I squeeze past you guys, thank you cavalry, if you'd follow me also, um, raven guard, if there's any of you conscious and fighting right now who the hell is this? oh, veil, okay it's like, that. I don't recognize those shields all right, cavalry, go. And I don't know why you guys decided to charge me head on. That was a poor, poor move on your part. Although I almost ate a lance right there. My horse definitely did. Um, can we not get this one handicapped? <laughs> uh, like, I just bought that horse, too, I think. If I remember right. Um, okay, cavalry's doing their thing. Looks like that guy wants to duel me. Oh, you bastard. Alright, here we go. Um, infantry, get up here. Pikes, get up here. Gonna need some backup. There we go. Oh, man. Good thing none of those guys had lances out. I feel like Jon Snow in the Battle of the Bastards right here. Can I steal that horse? Nice. Oh, it's a Dothraki horse. Pretty fast, even though it's uh, pretty well damaged. Um, I'll let them mop that up, and I'll deal with these guys. Gotta watch the crossbows. They can hit pretty hard. But so can the uh, longbows. That was weird. The game kind of lagged there. I feel like I just spazzed out. And gotcha. All right. Let's see. We got some guys coming in here. Let's go ahead and try to... You know, fight them while they're spread out. It's usually the best way to deal with infantry. Ah, he turned. Hate when they do that. You got them all lined up. You got a beat on them, and they decide to uh, just kind of spaz out and change directions for no reason. I mean, the reason is you, obviously. When they see you, they 
they try to maneuver differently to uh, avoid getting hit. But um, the way they do it is very unnatural. Or unrealistic might be a better way to describe it. Oh, I got the horse. Whoops. Sorry, horsey. I know it wasn't your choice to uh, enter this battle, probably. Oh, you're on my side. Whoops. Nice block there. Damn. There we go. And uh, he switched sides on me. You're already down. We just lost some people. I don't think either of those were mine, though. Oh, come on. If he had stood up a little bit more quickly, I think I would have killed him. There we go. Um, I have some throwing axes. I guess I could just harass people with them. Not a hit. <laughs> Not a single one. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, put me pretty good there. I've got some infantry. I think we'll be okay. Get that crossbow in. There we go. Damn. A little bit wide. Here we go. Catch him while he's reloading. What? Apparently I was wide th again there. I am a bit rusty. I haven't played in a few weeks. But, let's see. There we go. He saw it coming. He was winding up that block before I even, before I even started my swing. Clip both of them, but not quite enough to kill them. Let's make sure you don't get away. And we'll avoid getting shot here if we can. Damn. He's too busy trying to dodge. Alright, there we go. you out. Clean up this mess here. There's a lot of people down there and there's so much text I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, still got a kill. Let's see. I think they've got that under control. Weird. There's, oh, there's a bunch of uh, Riverlands troops coming in. Or not Riverlands, Westerlands. What am I thinking? Uh, yeah, they just got a ton of reinforcements. That could be a problem. Oh, there goes my horse. Um, I do not want to be on foot in the middle of this. Oh, wow. That was a lot of lag there. I'll have to check this in post, but hopefully there isn't a big frame drop or anything. Or at least a consistent one. I mean, if, if it happens once, I can try to edit around it or, you know, just deal with it. But preferably, I don't want it happening constantly. I don't know why it would be, but... This mod is running on fumes at this point, after all the things I've tweaked with it. God damn. I'm getting shot like crazy here. There's just too many enemy archers. Alright. Cavalry, please, please do your thing. Oh boy. Yeah, go, go fight over there. The king doesn't feel like going six on one right now. There we go. Um, I'll try to help you. You're running me over. Oh god. Oh man. A hit from that halberd might have done it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I would really like a horse right now. This is a bit nerve-wracking. But I think we've got them overwhelmed. I highly doubt they'll get any more reinforcements. And... We just completely overwhelmed them with knights, so I think we're okay. I should keep my shield up just in case I walk into a straight crossbow bolt or something. Let's see. Picking and choosing my fights. Good job there. Let's see if I can get these guys. <laughs> he just cannot deal with that guy behind him. Well, we'll try to help out. There we go. And that is just one absolute mosh pit. It looks like it's all longbowmen on their, on their end. So we should be able to make pretty quick work of them. Longbows and crossbows, but yeah, mostly ranged troops from the look of it. 
Oh god. Every time I fall over like that, I'm so worried I'm dead. Let's see. There's another one. And... Is that it? That's it. Woo. Man. That was a hell of a fight. We are like on the verge of death. Never let it be said that Rook Raven Tree is a coward. Even with only a single wound left and very little HP, he's standing in there. So, let's see, in total, 26 deaths, nothing too bad there, and none of them were from my party. Um, 200 enemy casualties, though, and I had 44 kills. Let's see, Sir Stefan Swift is going to yield. Um, he's honorable, so I'm going to let him go free. I'd like to try to recruit him away, and I'll do the same with Prince Taro as well, because he is very honorable. And let's see here. I will definitely take the higher-end troops prisoner. We'll probably let a few of the lower-tier guys go. Like, those men-at-arms can definitely take a hike. Um, I'll let you guys go. Any mounted sergeants, elite men-at-arms, definitely. Is that it? I think that's about it. I'll take an elite longbow and a two-hander, I guess. And that'll... Fill up our prisoner hold. We get any loot? No, no loot. Unfortunately, we have too many people with us, and I believe that is preventing us from getting any, because it gets divided up between everybody, and then there's nothing left for me. But anyways, we got Hall. We just defeated uh, two of the Westerlands lords in the area. Nothing of ours is under siege, at least not that I'm aware of. That's always a good thing. Nothing up here, right? I mean, we're not really at war with too many factions, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, of course, we do have stuff going down in the Vale still, and I'd like to set my sights on that eventually, but... Got a lot going on down here. Um, let's, let's scout out Maidenpool. We'll decide whether or not we want to take that, and then I think we'll head to Pink Maiden. Uh, I mean, maybe we'll just take this and deal with Pink Maiden next time. Oh, they just cut and ran. They didn't want to be part of that. 377. That'll be a hell of a battle. That will be a hell of a battle. Um, I don't want to deal with that right now. Let's let's head over here. We needed to take that back. Uh, I don't care. I don't care, to be honest. Villages mean nothing to me. But yeah, let's, let's take Pink Maiden. That should be a much easier time. Uh, and we can squeeze it in at the end of this episode here. That's going to be, like, uh, probably half an episode on its own. So that'll be maybe what we do next time. Shoot it with the bow. Oh, oh well. I hate those events so much. I wanted to see what they had for prisoners. Oh, they have hedge knights and Westerlands troops. I don't really care that much. But, yeah, we'll take this. This should be fairly quick. Then we'll call it a day. And, um... We wanted to take this back anyways because it's held by a fray right now and it does belong oh no we'll have to go deal with that so the veil is uh striking back but this should be pretty easy um we'll just storm it real quick um what was i saying anyways there is a lord who joined us from the riverlands who originally held this and we'd like to get it back to him so, again, not only do we want to take it from a fray, but we want to give it back to, I don't recall who, but he joined us, and it's his by rights. So, we're going to make that happen. I wanted to take Stony Sept, too, but unfortunately the Stormlands beat us to it. So, it would be nice if the Westerlands maybe came and claimed it, and then we could take it back from them. Anyways, uh, let's do this. Hopefully we're dealing with ladders here. Oh, it's a tower. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so uh, we are commanding this siege as Nelsor Raventree, the Prince of the North. I figured this would be a good opportunity for him to get some uh, you know, practice leading sieges. Unfortunately, we're just kind of sitting here waiting for the tower to get pushed up, so um, you know, nothing to see here for now. I'll come back, I guess, when uh, things get a little bit more interesting. Alright, so we are here. People are charging. Let's make sure the archers don't follow suit. And uh, make sure everybody else does get in there. 
All right, here we go. Now, they didn't have a ton of people defending this, so I imagine we'll probably overwhelm them fairly quickly. But we're still going to take quite a few casualties in the process. Um, we've already taken a bunch just getting the tower in position. Ah, I hate sieges so much. Oh man, it's so weird playing with somebody with such such low one-handed weapon skill after uh, playing with Rook. I feel like I'm swinging a sword through molasses. And this thing does not hit very hard either. I mean, part of that is his skills as well. Uh, I'm getting shot in the back. Great. Come on, guys. Make, make it happen. Oh, great. There's archers over there, too. Come on, man. Push. Alright, I'm going to try to slide this way and not get shot. Since that's the only way forward. Go, 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 go. What are you guys waiting for? Fight him. There's a bunch of archers right here. God damn. Every time I swing my sword, I get shot by an arrow. Never fails. I'm way too slow to capitalize on, on their mistakes. Oh no! Well, it looks like uh, Rook was right behind to uh, clean that up. Alright, well, I'm just going to let this play out, and I'll come back when we have inevitably won. Okay, we uh, appear to have been victorious. I mean, we kind of knew that as much. Um, six wounds for us, but no actual deaths for our allies. Uh, the numbers are going to look a lot worse. 50 dead uh, for the enemy, 126. So we did pay dearly for this castle, but it's, you know, it's ours now. I will let you go since you are honorable. You are as well. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, you are part of my faction. Yeah, that's right. I don't recall what your original fief was, though. I'll have to look into that, but I need... Bracken is definitely a house of the Riverlands, so I need to reallocate their um, land to them. Again, we'll take everybody except for the peasants, because we can throw them in a garrison, whether it be here or anywhere else. Makes no difference. It's just bodies. All right, and then I don't see anything here that I desperately need, so uh, I don't really have any money for upgrades. Never mind. Okay, we're going to defer appointment of this as well, because I have no idea who this belongs to. So we'll have to look up, uh, you know, who we want to hand that to, as well as Heron Hall. Again, I kind of have an idea with Heron Hall, but it hinges on a lot of things. This is more straightforward. I just need to give it to somebody. Um... Acorn Hall as well, and I believe Dairy too. Yeah, we need to look into who originally held those and give them back. I think that's Jonas Bracken's castle right there. That looks like his heraldry. So, that is most, if not all, of the Riverlands reclaimed. All we're missing at this point is Maidenpool. And again, I'm not sure if I want to take it. The Lord who originally held it isn't a very good person. He's not joining our faction, so... I don't really care. It would be another town for us, but it'd be something else we have to worry about defending. I talked about this last episode, I believe, but I kind of wouldn't mind if Dragonstone took it, as well as the rest of this. So I might just wait and see and set my sights on the veil for the time being. After, of course, we fortify this a little bit. And what else? I still have to decide on who I'm going to give the crossing to. If you guys have any suggestions regarding that, let me know because I don't want to give it to any of the Tullys. They already have Riverrun and Fair Market, so that seems excessive. Um, we may need to investigate who's raiding our territory over here, but it very well could have been one of the lords that was fleeing from us as we traveled, so um, actually I would wager that it probably was. We'll have to figure out where they're headed next and deal with them. And then uh, again, I think we'll set our sights on the Vale, particularly our town that's under siege right now. Anyways, we'll leave it here for today, so thank you guys so much for watching, I had a great time playing some Clash of Kings with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.